And we make all the numbers read zero at the same time. <laughs> Three feet. Pick up some feet. dust. <laughs> Seven feet. Zero. That's not bad. So three, three Eagle, feet per uh, second vertically. And it's continuing. Where? Twenty-six feet per second yeah. laterally. We landed, guys. We did. Yeah. <laughs>
and then at uh, T minus seven and a half seconds, uh -huh. the um, RCS is going to start an ullage burn to settle the fuel in the tanks. Uh, so we'll start seeing the delta V monitor and the last register here uh, count up as we gain velocity. Uh, and then at uh, yeah T minus five seconds, we'll get the flashing verb 99 that is uh, proceed confirmation. So there's the blank. Arm descent engine. Wait for the ullage burn to start here. Oh, I got a program alarm. Oh yeah, uh, that is uh, radar mode. Hold on. Verb twenty one now one enter now one o enter one o two two. Uh, Luminary ninety nine. The Apollo eleven rope is a little bit buggy. It doesn't handle restarts perfectly good uh, for the radar. Uh -huh. So proceed to confirm ignition. Oh, altitude lights on, so it. Okay. It's the it's looking for a radar signal, but we're the wrong <laughs> direction, right? So yeah, we're as right. as they were in Apollo 11. Yeah. So we're we're looking out the window, down at the surface now, so we can see where we're going. Mm -hmm. uh, so the engine has throttled up to 10 percent. Here and then uh, at ignition plus 26 seconds, it will throttle up to 97 percent. So we have started the burn. Yep. At 10 percent, so we can gimbal and then whoop. There we go. We are cooking. Yeah. Control into our attitude here. So we're leaving orbit. Mm -hmm. And so down there, explain what the, the numbers are again. Uh, one second. So one, one other thing I have to do is set the descent engine command override switch to on to make sure that the engine stays on. Uh, yeah, so the, the numbers down here. Uh, first register is our current velocity with respect to the surface in uh, tenths of a foot per second. So this is 5,200 sound feet per second. Uh, the second register is our altitude rate, uh, which is currently going down. I forget if that's scaled feet or tenths of a foot. Okay. Uh, I think it's feet. But we can compare with the uh, the uh, tape meter actually. Altitude rate is it's tenths of a foot. Uh, so the tape meter also displays the, uh, the altitude rate. Okay. And then the last register is our altitude. Uh, and this is just in feet. Or 6,000 feet. So we're starting fairly high and we're going to land. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what, what is and that switch? Uh, you, you have to flick really quickly so, so the engine doesn't uh, stop? <laughs> yeah, descent engine command override switch. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation on the internet about that switch. Uh -huh. People think that it lets you override the engine. Uh -huh. But uh, what it actually does is it just overrides the AGC's engine enable discrete mm -hmm. so that if it goes away the engine stays on okay. it doesn't cut out right so if, if I take a restart or something then yeah you know the engine will definitely stay all on. right I see makes sense so belt and suspenders yep <laughs> yeah it's so uh both the, the altitude rate and the altitude are displayed on the tape meters here the uh, altitude on the left and the, the tape meter on the right mm -hmm. Um, the cross pointer is not terribly useful right now, uh, but it'll be really useful once we get down to uh, landing. It shows our uh, forward and lateral velocity. Mm -hmm. So if you have the cross pointer right in the middle, then you're hovering, you know, stationary over the surface. Mm -hmm. uh, so the next big event in our uh, landing sequence is that at ignition plus three minutes thirty seconds. Uh, I need to roll the LAM over, uh, do a big yaw maneuver to make the landing radar face the ground. Okay, that's where you are going to go and do it manually, right? And that's something they did on Apollo 11 yep. specifically. They yes. didn't do it on other missions. Uh, they were just worried <laughs> where they were going, so they wanted to be able to look at the window and see the surface of the moon. Yeah, so we're, we're flying in what's called the heads down configuration right now, mm -hmm. and then uh, all the later missions flew heads up through the whole landing. Uh, it turned out to be really good for 11 since they did end up going long. Yeah, and they saw it right away. Yeah. So, 3 minutes 30 seconds. Okay. I'll look out the window while I do this. Okay. Do, uh, so, I'm just going to do a 180 degree yaw here. Alright. And you're explaining that it lets you do yaw, but not anything else, right? Right. Yeah. It's, it's, the AGC is firmly on curve control of everything else. All you can do is rotate around the axis, that doesn't matter. As long as the switch, uh, the, the ping switch is in auto, that's yeah. true. Um, 
we have well, no, yeah unless you yeah unless so, you override we have the yeah we have what's called uh x-axis override right yeah. now enabled um if we go into auto mode then i can control all the axes uh or it's, yeah if we go into attitude hold mode right okay so so right now you're in auto and auto lets you do it yep right? So that's 180 degrees. So, so now our, we're looking up. Right. Our altitude light sky. is going out. Oh, <laughs> because the radar is facing the right way now. Mm -hmm. All right. So if I do verb 16, noun 68, this is the display that caused the program alarms for the first time on 11. All right, right. Uh, what this shows in the last register here is uh, called delta H. It's the difference between the landing radar measurement and your estimated altitude. Mm -hmm. uh, so what this is showing is that we are four kilometers lower than the AGC thinks we are, which is, mm -hmm. it, it's actually kind of That's bad in this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we definitely want to start incorporating the radar here. Uh, so I'm going to do a verb 57 enter to start incorporating uh, radar measurements. And it's that far off because we were flying without the landing radar for such a long time. It's it's that far off because our our altitude estimate of the landing site is was wrong from like what what measurements we took on the ground to guess how high the landing site is. Uh -huh. um, so if I look at noun sixty eight again, uh, the delta H is going down. Oh should yeah, be going down uh, as the mm -hmm. measurements and estimate conver uh, converge. Um, so also shown in uh, noun sixty eight is the slant range to the landing site. Mm -hmm. more or less, which is sort of like the, the magnitude of the radar returns. Mm. Uh, and then uh, the middle uh, row here is the time remaining in breaking phase. Right, and we are doing the we are doing it the easy way. Mike can also inject 1202s in there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but no, there's so much stuff going on. I, I tried to do it first without it. <laughs> to, so we can yeah, explain it. You can imagine, you know, there's such a load. Yeah. And, and you're incorporating the radar and this enormous air comes up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would have pressed the abort button. It really complicates the landing. Right. <laughs> it is actually possible to fly a landing with uh, alarm with, with load worse than they got in really? 11, but only just. <laughs> only just, so yeah. they, they, they lucked out yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Oh, maybe in, in outtake we'll do the so, uh, hello too. So we're coming up on, well, we just did a throttle down. Yep, here. we're here. So that was right about on time for what we expect. Throttle down on time. So throttle went down to about 57%. Uh, the reason why we waited this long is because the throttle, or, or the the, um, the descent engine is sort of unstable between 57% and 97% throttle. Mm -hmm. uh, so... They, as soon as the guidance wanted less than 57%, it, it, it did it. It pulled mm -hmm. down the throttle. So now, uh, next thing in the checklist is to evaluate manual control. Um, so I'm going to switch into attitude holds and just test all of my axes of control to make sure that everything is responsive. And we see, we should see the the eight ball moving a little bit. I do see it. Yep. And then I flip it back into auto, and the ADC will take us back to the direction it wants to be pointing. Mm -hmm. There we go. So now let me look up uh, noun 68 again. So now we're looking at this middle register here. Uh, as soon as we get to T minus one minute mm -hmm. remaining in the uh, Breaking phase. Uh, we're going to switch into P64, so we're about 12 seconds away from that. Okay. And then it's going to pitch us up. Yep. And we're going to finally see the surface again. Yep. So there's P64. P64. I'm going to put uh, landing radar to hover and take a look out our window. So here's the landing site. Um, I've got a flashing verb and noun on P64 right now, which uh -huh. means it's not going to permit redesignations with the mm -hmm. hand controller. Uh, so I'm going to hit proceed to permit redesignations. And I'm going to try to land us in this little white area right about there. Uh, so the, the number here is the angle to look at on this uh, gradation. So uh, right now it's 55, so yeah. you're, you're a little too close. Yeah. So I'm going to press forward on the uh, the hand controller to redesignate the landing site forwards. Okay, I'm going to have the hand controller in the picture, see your redesignations. Yep. 
So did, did they redesignate at all in uh, Apollo 11, or they were too busy? Uh, Neil did not want to redesignate. Okay. Uh, so he, I think he went all the way down without redesignating. The and then he just flew. Yep. Right. So 46. So part of the complication with the redesignation is that it um, first the the lem takes a little bit to respond to it. Yeah. And also the number displayed here yeah. is uh, up to two seconds delayed. Yeah, so you kind of so have to take that into account when you're looking uh, at the... So it's kind of lazy. Yeah. And oh, I think you, now you're 35, so you're a lot better. Yeah. So I'm going to take this over to the side a little bit here. Okay, so you're redesignated left a little bit. And then uh, this this number here, uh -huh. uh, on the left on the same line, is the remaining number of seconds I have to do redesignations. Right. So and I then know. my altitude rate is in the second register, and then cut off on the bottom of the screen is the altitude. Mm -hmm. But we can see that on the tape meter as well. Yes, yeah, very small numbers at the bottom here. Yep. So the angle is looking pretty good. 26 is taking me right about there. Right, and, and you could hear Aldrin announcing the numbers to uh, Neil, who was looking out the window. Mm -hmm. And we see your shadow. Yeah, there's the shadow. Right. So I'm gonna, gonna let this go for just a little bit, uh, and then I'm gonna flip it into P66. And the way you do that is you go into attitude hold, and then press one of the rate of descent switches. So I'm going to put okay. it into... So you're going to take it over manually, no yep. no pilot ever so let it go into P65, which is automatic. So attitude hold... P66, you got it. So now yep. you're flying. Now I'm flying. So I'm controlling uh, the attitude with the stick, which controls the horizontal velocity. Uh -huh. And I'm controlling the rate of descent with the uh, ROD switches, the rate of uh -huh. descent switches. You have become really good at it <laughs> after crashing a few times. <laughs> Just a few times. Okay. I'll so, yeah. Oh, picking up some dust. Yeah. Contact light. Contact light. Okay, so press the button to uh, stop the engine, uh, take the ACA out of detent, the hand controller out of detent, uh, and then I am going to, uh, let's see, both to auto, descent, engine command override off, engine arm off, and then we're on the surface. Uh, so at this point we can make the call for stay or no stay. Yeah. <laughs> I say, let's have fun here. No stay. No stay. Okay. <laughs> let's First abort. Step. Here's our landing site. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. did, did we kill the simulation? Oh, no. Uh, uh, we might have. Go. Connector to direct device is blah, blah, blah. Lost. We'll blame it on Windows. Yep, Windows, Windows ate it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we landed. We, la <laughs> we landed with a good AGC and Windows got us. <laughs> so what you do is that you, uh, you actually slow down the computer a little bit like to simulate the, uh, the counts from the radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm just injecting stock mm -hmm. for the same amount of time it takes to do two counts. Okay. Oh, so that's a very close simulation of it. Yep. Okay, all flight controllers, about 15 seconds to CSM act. This is really close to the load um, that they would have gotten. Procedures in flight, will you make sure the doors get secured now, please? Alright. So this is going to be pretty much exactly the same. What is that one? Uh, that is the landing radar circuit breaker. Okay, you want that on? Def definitely want that on. <laughs> that is a very important one to have on. Calculating, 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 calculating. And go. Flight guide. Go guide. Did you get uh, his TIG is real good in P63? Seven hundredths of a second of our That's her. Oh, we're going to land. Uh, so that's your attitude. 
Oh, which one did you click there? So this is this controls. Uh, oh, what the is AGC. The okay, yeah, AGC what? controls the needles. Exactly. Yep. All right. And then this oh. is the rate scale for these rate indicators. Okay. Stabilization control circuit breakers. And then this is uh, ADC control of the tape meters. Okay. Okay, all flight controllers gonna go for power descent. Retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Calcom. Go. GNC. Go. Econ. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom or go for power descent. Don't press the abort stage. Why not? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> See? Oh, it doesn't do anything? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> you can't abort yet, huh? Uh, I did leave that up, right? <laughs> <laughs> we will abort with that eventually, but... Uh, okay. For now, yeah. Okay, so... Enter. I'm gonna put eggs into auto. Radar into slew. On my mark, 3.30, till ignition. Roger. Slide Fido. Go Fido. Lear is go. Lear is go. Till ignition. So radar in too slow, you do that to mimic the uh, Apollo 11 mm -hmm. uh, configuration. Yeah, it, it doesn't actually have any impact because of the way that we're simulating the load on the AGC. Yeah, but you, 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 ha you have to have a faulty CDU for it to exactly. work. Yeah. For it to not work, so this is doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> think, 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 think. So it's doing the ags. Or pro hmm? What is it doing now? Yes, uh, it was uh, doing the final P sixty three calculation. Oh, okay. Uh, state vector and blah blah. Yep. Uh, so now I'm going to fix my rad modes flag word. Uh, verb twenty one noun o one. So this is load octal address address one ten. I'm going to put 102 into it. Back. And that's something the astronauts Clear. wouldn't have had to do? 102. Uh, that, that, yeah, that not, is a, not this particular step. I think they did have to mess around with their red modes flag word directly oh. in some other places. Okay. It's, Luminary 99 just really didn't handle the red modes very well. Okay. Um, but uh, this, this one was because I took a restart outside of P63, outside of this screen. If I take a restart on in this screen, it goes back to the right value. Okay. Um, but outside of this screen, uh, it gets messed up. Okay, so it's an important workaround to do. So, arm descent engine. Arm descent. Okay, all flight controllers, 30 seconds to ignition. Okay, 20 seconds to ignition. Mm -hmm. Coolidge is at what, eight? Uh, seven and a half, yeah. Hear it? And there's the counts. So 99, proceed. proceed. We're burning. Yep, throttle's at 10%. Alex, one, zero. Mission 10%. And then it should throttle up at 26 seconds. Uh, but first, uh, descent engine command override on. You want to make sure that the AGC does not stop the engine that you told me. Uh oh, it's throttle up. Mm -hmm. So we're at 90% now. Good. Eagle Houston, everything's looking good here, over. And now uh, now we can pretty much just wait for uh, ignition plus 3 minutes 30 seconds and I have to roll it over. Okay. So right now we are flying uh, back down so we can see the moon. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you show the window? There you go. Out the window, and yep. also look out the overhead window. See the uh, moon going by behind us. <laughs> oh, cool! Very nice. 
This is such a nice simulation. It's really, really nice, yeah. Lots of sweat and tears in that one. It's like, I, I don't know what all of these buttons do, but the cool thing is that they all... They work. ...do something, yeah. They all, they <laughs> and and I, I was telling the other guys earlier, like, the reason why we know what the descent engine command override switch does and how the contact light works, for example, is like uh -huh. both of those things are meticulously implemented relay by relay from the schematics. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. So it's a very, very complete and very accurate simulation. Okay, so your roll's coming up. And we've got another minute, 20 seconds or so. the belly flop. Yep, we almost there. Yeah, three minutes, twenty seven seconds. I'll look out the window again. Belly flop. Okay, control, let me know when he starts his yaw here. Roger. We're going to do the Apollo 11 only maneuver where they started heads down and then they went back to normal heads up configuration. Okay, all flight controllers, I'm going around the horn. Make your go no goes based on the data you had prior to LOS. I see we got it back. Give you another few seconds. We're going, flying. Okay, retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guide. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Econ. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom or go to continue PDI. You just look at the ball, basically. Mm -hmm. Yep, so I'm just going right... Right in the middle of those lines. So now, our altitude light is off. And... The delta H is... 2.4 kilometers. Delta H is minus 2,900. Roger, we copy. That's the Earth's radar up front window. Oh, not, not the radar has taken. Mm -hmm. right, and you're, you're, and, and, and where, so our, this is where the 1202 happens yeah. in uh, reality, right? Yep. Uh, first one happened at 5 minutes and 30 seconds. So uh -huh. we, we actually have a little bit of time before then. Uh -huh. um, so I just did a verb 57 to allow uh, incorporation of the radar data. We can pull up now on 68 again. Okay, and the more the green activity light, the closer we're getting from the air. Yeah, so it's still unblanking a few times. <laughs> this light is controlled by the idle task in the AGC, mm -hmm. so if the idle task is running, then the computer activity light is off. So it still has a lot of breathing room. A little bit, yep. Not that much, it's very busy. Which is that display right now? What's, what's the... Down 68? Yeah. Uh, so there's the, the slant range, uh, radar return... Oh, oh ra radar strengths. That's the radar one. Yep. Okay. And then the uh, time to go in mm -hmm. uh, braking phase and the uh, delta H difference between the radar measurement and our estimated altitude. Right, so, so this is very landing radar focused. Mm -hmm. So our compact light is on the Oh solid yeah. Now. Oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. We have alarm. What's it? Baldwin. Twelve o two. So twelve o two. The twelve o two. Twelve o two. Looks like it's converging. Twelve twelve o two alarm. Okay. Houston, <laughs> give us a reading on twelve o two. Give us a reading on the 1202 two program we're, alarm. We're going on that flight. We're going on that alarm. Roger, we got you. If it doesn't reoccur, we'll be go. He's, he's taking an adult H now. Roger. It's not good, but it, it, it actually restarted through <laughs> yep, yep, it. And, and went fine. It, no, as if nothing happened. We're going on that one, which is actually a little of a gutsy call. They were not really <laughs> go on it at all. That's a major catastrophe. Yeah. So at this point, if I go back into 1668, uh -huh. Compacti Light gets stuck on again. And oh, then we'll get another program alarm. 
So this is this is when Buzz would have realized that going into 1668 yeah. is not a good idea. <laughs> right. It seems to happen when I'm in 1668. Same alarm, and it appears to come up when we have a 1668 up. So, uh... <laughs> yep. So, uh... In that case, the ground would have monitored the Delta H mm -hmm. for the astronauts. Mm -hmm. Cause that, that was the thing that they were really concerned about. Right. Was that the radar was continuing to give good measurements. And uh, did, did it tell them not to use 1668? Uh, no, Buzz just, just stopped using that. it. Yep. Yeah. He realized that. Okay, and relied on the ground. Uh, you want him to stay out of 68? Uh, negative flight. Uh, I just said we'll monitor the arms. Okay. Okay. Flight control go. region looks good. Flight Roger. guidance. Go guidance. So now 68, now well may be the problem here, and we can monitor Delta H. Roger. So as long as we stay out of mm -hmm. uh, a monitor verb, like 16, uh, we'll be fine. So that's the, the drop that uh, makes the bucket go over. Yep. Uh, let's see. I can do evaluation of my inputs really fast. It seems to all be working. Moving. Which is a step that Neil Armstrong did too. Did, did, he, mm -hmm. did they do it every time? Yep. Okay, check that. It's always good to check. You can regain control if the automatic thing doesn't work. So, normally we would be looking at the time to go uh -huh. in down 68 uh -huh. to see how long we have left in our burn here. But we don't want to be in yeah. 68, not so to get more 1202. Based on the altitude, we're about to go into P64. Okay. Yeah, there it is. P64. Okay, they got 64. We copy. So, if there's P64... Uh, so at this point, the load is also not so bad, uh, but as soon as I press proceed to allow redesignations, it's going to get really bad, because even if you're not doing redesignations, uh -huh. allowing them uh -huh. uh, en enables a lot of calculations. Uh -huh. uh, and already my disky is just blank. Oh yeah, yeah so <laughs> actually they didn't report oh. it, but the disky went yeah, blank. So there's there's a program alarm. Twelve two. Okay, all flight controllers gonna go for landing. Retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. go. Ecom. Go. Right. Surgeon. Go. Capcom. We're go for landing. Eagle Houston, you're go for landing. Over. And so now we're in P64, we're, we're upright. <laughs> what happened? I, I got another program alarm. Okay. So now you're going to get them all the time. Yeah. That was a 12 12 alarm. 1. Yep. Alarm. 12 alarm. 12 12 Roger, 12 alarm. Same type, we're go, flight. Okay, we're go. We're go, same type, we're go. And then I just took another one, so we're in a really, really unhappy uh Yeah, yeah, so, so, uh, so, if they had had that many, they might have pulled it aboard. No, I think they would have landed manually. <laughs> yeah, screw you, Houston. We can see. How, how high are we? Uh, we're at about a thousand feet. Oh yeah, they, they, they would have landed. Yeah, so Neil took over manual control at about 500 feet, so I'm going to do a... Oh, this key went blank again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we've, we've gotten... Whoops. For, oh, five, no, no, nine. Uh oh, oh, that's too late. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you're going to take up... Uh, you're going to do a... Attitude uh, hold. 66. Yep. All right. Attitude hold. Okay, at hold. I think we better be quiet. Right. Four hundred feet down at nine. Okay, the only call outs from now on will be fuel. Okay, forward. P sixty six. Okay, so now you are flying the thing through the computer, but you're yes. giving the input. So I'm going to go ahead and level off. Uh, so I've just kind of leveled out and. Now, uh, I've clicked my rate of descent switch such that our altitude rate here yeah, is, is, is zero. So, so, oh, you're doing, the, you're doing the Neil Armstrong maneuver. Yeah, so we're just yes. we're flying along Keep flying, <laughs> above right. the surface now. Yeah, you have seen boulders and you want to go Yep, we want to get past all of the stuff. Yeah. Uh, so let's say we want to get past this crater up here. Uh -huh. so I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, cross pointer into low malt. 
Looks like I didn't drop any counts this time, which is nice. How much fuel do you have left? Uh, 8% remaining, okay, so which is plenty. We can go for a while. Uh -huh. So, get over this crater and then pull back a little bit to start slowing down. So yeah, in this mode I have complete control by controlling my attitude of uh, the horizontal velocity and the AGC controls the so vertical this, velocity based So on you just the, lean back to slow down mm -hmm. and you lean forward to accelerate basically. Exactly. And then I press the uh, rate of descent switches to... So uh, you lean back a little bit and I see you. Yep. You're still going at a good clip, I see 28 feet per, sec feet per second. So I'm going, yep. Oh, but now it's now six it's down. So I'm going to slow my rate of descent a little bit. I'll start pushing forward on the stick. Forward. Forward. Head. Okay, now you're one foot per second. Also, oh, okay, now you've nulled it. Yep. That's wow, cool. you're getting good at that. <laughs> Nulled velocity. All right, so yeah, you're 0.4 horizontal. So we're. 3.8 feet per second, picking up dust. Slow down the rate of descent. Two feet per second. Contact light. The light light. And then stop. You see a detent. Uh, descent engine command over right off, engine arm off. Okay. 40 feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. 30 feet, two and a half down. Straight shadow. Four forward. Four forward, drift into the right a little. 30, down and a half. 30 seconds. Forward, just. Good. Okay. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. APA at a descent. Auto descent. control, both auto descent, engine command override off. Engine arm off. 413 is in. We copy you down, Eagle. Swiston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. All right, so that so. was a real hair raising Apple 11 <laughs> landing with 1202s and 1201s of the Wazoo. Yep, how many? Oh, I, I didn't get any more. Right, because I. I Reset them right before I went into P66. So I got, we got a bunch of alarms there. So right. just keep blanks. Okay, um, so you we want can, to abort? Yeah. Let's, let's abort. Let's abort. We don't, we don't like it. <laughs> Get out of here. <coughs> Ascent. You can look out our window to see where we're going. Oh, I forgot a landing step there. Uh, both auto. What do you forget? Uh, I forgot to put the pings into auto, so it didn't have control over attitude during abort, which is not great. So I had to, <laughs> well, I had to switch wow, it over really fast. <laughs> You're a really good astronaut. You <laughs> caught it right away. Or you expected Wait, it to change it? It, it gave us a different display. It, it gave us the, you need to put it in an auto display. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was a good catch. <laughs> yeah, so this is going to take us all the way back into orbit. It'll put us at about uh, 60,000 feet apolune, highest point in the orbit, and uh, uh, 60,000 apolune, 15,000 perilune, I think. And there's really not, not, not much you have to do during the abort, right? Oh, no, no. This will go all the way to orbit. Right, <laughs> and so I just... You're, you're relaxed, hands off, while we touch down the moon, but you know, no time to plan the flags. So, mm -hmm. like, so uh, I was surprised the first time you did it, and how you, know, you press the button, the puff, you go. Right? Yep. It's just no question <laughs> asked, like, are you sure you really want to land, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. No, when it's abort, yep. no questions. You press the button, <laughs> off your... Right, and he didn't even check that you had pings into auto, right? Yeah, just yeah. get out of here. Right. <laughs> you don't even have to, to arm the ascent engine. 
Oh, the, the, like, by the checklist, right. you press the abort stage and start flying, and then you arm the ascent engine. <laughs> wow! So, so like, what, that's the only button you have to press, and everything. Right, right, right. which is so completely different from from landing, where it asks you three times. Are yeah. you absolutely sure? <laughs> right. <laughs> you really want it? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> have you put your switches in all the right positions? <laughs> Well, this is awesome. I really hope, Mike, you'll be able to do it in front of the uh, of the audience, which will include a lot of the uh, well doing for the people that love the dark thing. Mm -hmm. right? Yep. Hopefully, I don't crash. <laughs> I practiced a whole bunch. <laughs> <laughs> you're, got, you're getting very, very good at it. <laughs> and then, for those of you who don't have like us, a, 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 either a real EGC or a replica of it, this whole thing runs with the emulation right. on the computer. Yeah, that's that's why I was able to put this so quickly is because NASSB already uses an emulator with the real flight software. Mm -hmm. So you know, I think maybe actually uh, I haven't installed it yet, but maybe Mike when we install it, mm -hmm. maybe after our our trip. Yeah. Um, then maybe we'll make a video of it. Sure. Okay, so you, you explain the, the viewers how to install it mm -hmm. and how to fly. We're ascending. Yep. It's starting to run out of daylight as we head into orbit here. Okay. This this <laughs> is a cool simulation. Oh look look at our velocity. Oh we're almost we're almost in orbit. Oh that was cut go. off. There you go. Engine cut off. Perfect. 